James in Santa Rosa, California. Hi there, James. Hi, Kim. Thank you for taking my call. You betcha. What's going on in Santa Rosa? Beautiful, well, beautiful part of the country, by the way. It is beautiful. I have a nice little vineyard here. What I'm looking for mm -hmm. is... Did you hear what he just said, Andrew? He's got a nice little vineyard there. Well, it's a, ho <laughs> it's a hobby vineyard, and, you know, it helps pay the taxes on the property and everything. So that's a good thing. But I have these new high-tech hearing aids now, and I have this problem they call tendonitis, which is the ringing of the ears from sure. racing motorcycles, running tractors, working on diesel engines. And what I need is like a little white noise when this ringing goes up to its highest level. Sure. But my Wi-Fi doesn't reach very far out of my house, and so what I'm looking for is how to extend my Wi-Fi. And so how many miles do you think you have to extend it? How many miles? Yes. Well, it's just acres. It's probably, it's only uh, six, 700 feet. Oh, okay. So this isn't anything major. I've pictured you like in this like huge vineyard going on and on and on and on. <laughs> no, on. I only have two acres. All right. Okay. I have, really, I have three and a third, but part of it's garden and trees. We have apple trees and prune trees and plum and so... We're living in God's country here. Oh, that is. That sounds really terrific. I love I love your part of the country, Napa, although I actually love all parts of our country. I think, you know, it's, we're so blessed to live here, truly, truly. We really are. Um, okay, so between you and a couple of acres, are, are there any structures or no? No, not in the vineyard, no. Okay. Absolutely, just my house, okay. and that's where I have my Wi-Fi. Okay, there's a, there is a, a system that's made for farmers, Really? And it's called the Air Mesh. It's A Y R Mesh. And uh -huh. so if you look at their website, I think that's what you're going to want. I mean, it's a specifically made for agricultural environments. Um, because, you know, farms right now, they're very high tech. You know that. And, Absolutely. and so basically, is that you're going to get this router and then you're going to mount these, um, these high gain antennas. And, and for the maximum range. And they help you. They actually have a thing on their, uh, like a diagram on their website that will help you figure out where to put the hops. So how, so you, where you would put one hop to the next hop to the next hop. And then you can also email their customer service department a, uh, like a plot plan. And so that they can tell you where you might need the hops accordingly. See, a, a mesh network, are you familiar with mesh network? No, I'm not. Okay. It's, it's a new type of network that's coming out for consumers. And see, right now, if I put a router into your house, is that basically that antenna goes up and that signal goes out in a full circle, okay? So if you think about that, kind of like the, the crop circles, as it goes from circle to circle, right? Correct. But there's, there are areas where the circles don't overlap. Okay, so that's the problem. So now we have this brand new technology called a mesh network, and that's what this is for farmers a brand new mesh network that's coming out for consumers. So instead of these circles, these crop circles, now everybody sees them going out with your Wi-Fi network, and that's why you have these dead zones and these limited zones, is that now with the mesh, it's like a net, got it, a mesh net, and so that this way those signals overlap so that this way we don't have those dead zones. Uh, mesh networks are made by various companies, like Eero is the one that I have at my house. Google's coming out with a mesh network. Uh, so just know if you don't have one today is that one is going to be very, very soon in your future. I'll post a link over to this for you, James, over at commando.com. That's K-O-M-A-N-D-O.com in that show picks area.